John Muir Project partnered up with a panel of independent scientists as they discussed their work in wildfire ecology, biodiversity, and post-fire snag forest habitats. This is the Great Real Chicks that I monitored for a little while um, up in Stanislaw. And of course, as you can see from the background there, that's you, they're using a charred snag. It's the top of the snag with the little you know, sort of semi cavity, very nice sheltered space in there. They both fledged successfully and I documented that. That's the parent. Um, also, as, as you can see from the backdrop, that's uh, parent is hunting using a snag perch. Dr. Lee and Dr. Chad Hansen, who's here um, in the seminar today, and I, we analyzed every published study that showed a negative effect of high severity fire on spotted owls. Every single one of those 13 studies, with the exception of one, was confounded by post-fire logging that had taken place within the core of the spotted owl breeding site. The one study that did not have post-fire logging in the core of the breeding site did have post-fire logging just outside the breeding site. So to reiterate, there was not a single study that showed negative effects of severe fire that did not have post-fire logging somewhere within and around the owl's home. This demonstrates very clearly that research needs to be conducted in unlogged habitats to best understand the dynamics of fire and spotted owls. And this is just eight years post fire. And uh, here we are last year um, and the uh, natural regeneration is over the tops uh, of our heads, way over the tops of our heads. Right next door, the same exact high intensity fire patch, this area was post fire logged and planted about five years earlier. Um, based on the narrative that it had to be logged and planted in order to recover forest. Forest Service said, if we don't do this, we're never going to get trees back or it'll take hundreds of years. And this is restoration and fuel reduction. That's what they called this. They actually called it rest reforestation. And in reality, what we see is the post-fire logging, the logging machinery damaged the fragile post-fire soils. It took away the dead trees, which otherwise would fall and replenish the soil and aid the growth of the regenerating forest. And the post-fire logging machinery actually crushes and kills nearly all of the natural post-fire regeneration. The little... In case you missed it, please catch the recording of episode three of our Understanding the Science series on John Muir Project's YouTube channel. Thank you.